Hello, I'm Dolores Huerta, and I want to thank all of you for joining us today on this National Justice Roundtable, uh, which is now uh, taking place and has been taking place, and we've had all of these really incredible speakers. You know, it's interesting when we think about this moment that we're in in, uh, in our society that we might say that we're in kind of a civil war, or you might say that we are just picking up the remnants of the Civil War, things that were naked, never taken care of, and now we find ourselves in the situation that we are in today. We know that there are many, many forces right now in our country who are really actively trying to destroy our democracy. While we know that our democracy has not yet really been fulfilled, we have so many issues that are still unresolved. Uh, you know, we think that we got rid of slavery, but we really didn't because we have slavery and its legacy as it applies to workers. When we think of our fast food workers, our farm workers, our custodians, the child care workers, the home care workers, and on and on, our hospitality workers, workers all over the United States that are working really hard to keep our country going, and yet they are not being paid what they should be paid. And yet at the same time, we have the 10% of wealthy families and wealthy corporations that really are controlling the wealth of the United States of America. And at the same time, we see so many homeless people on our streets. And we think, how can we be in this situation? The richest country in the world, the most powerful country in the world. And yet, look around us and we see that the devastation uh, among our poor families, uh, what the COVID-19 has done, because people were not uh, really properly uh, you might say didn't have the knowledge or didn't have the support that they needed at the, at the time that they needed it. So, yes, we are in a civil war in our society right now. And in, in order for us to be able to combat what we are facing right now, we need the best minds in the country. Yes, when you're in a civil war, you get your best warriors and you get them to come out. And so what has been happening with this uh, National Roundtable for justice that we are now engaging in, we are hearing the words that we need to hear, not only the healing words, but the words so that we can understand and that we can verbalize and we can give the messaging out there to the people that we need to convince to make them get involved. Because we know if we're trying to uh, change this, and the work that we need to do uh, to, you know, make sure that we have the Equal Rights Amendment for women, uh, that we have uh, an immigration policy that en enables people to, to become citizens, that our labor unions will be given back the right to organize and to represent the workers so that they can get better wages and create the middle class, to have the kind of represent representation that we need in Washington, D.C., so that they can get the statehood that they have been fighting for now for how many, many, many years in order to elect the people that we need that are really going to represent us, we have to do so much work because at the end of the day, we are fighting for the soul of our country, not only a justice soul, but an economic, an economic soul to make sure that we can get rid of the injustices that we are all facing today. And we know that at the bottom of this, to make this happen, we've got to make sure that people get engaged in voting. So we have a huge task because we know that so many people out there are not engaged, that they're not informed, that they don't know exactly what's going on uh, in, in the Congress of the United States of America, let alone the state legislature, their city council, their local school boards. When we have seen the mass incarcerations uh, that are affecting our communities and the constant discrimination against people of color, our LGBTQ community, and of course, women. This is all ongoing right now. Where our resources are being spent because we know the people we elect are the ones that are going to decide where our resources are going to be appropriated. So we have to kind of roll up our sleeves and say, okay, let's get to work. And let's listen to the people that are joining us uh, on this National Justice Roundtable Let's hear their messaging, let's hear the, let's heed their words, and let's act on their words, okay? Because we are so fortunate that all of these wonderful leaders are stepping up. They're stepping up and they realize that we all have to come together if we are going to overcome this crisis. 
put our country on the right path to social justice, that we have to do it all together. Yes, we can make it happen, si se puede, but it's going to take every single one of us to do it. Thank you very much.